today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with part one of a collab series that I am a part of and we are a couple of Swedish YouTubers that all have our channels in English that are going to do a collab series where we do makeup looks that is inspired by Sweden so it can be different things and you will see throughout this series <laughs> what we will do this idea came from Malin Modin I will leave all of the ones that are part of this collab down in the description and also up here both their videos and their channels the ones that are part of this collab and this episode is Malin that came up with this whole thing. Also Jessica, Angelica and Linda. Okay, that was so strange. I was like saying some name in Swedish and some names in English. So yeah, I will leave all their channels down below. I already said it. So I'm just going to start and did I say what we are doing? In this first part we are doing a makeup look that is inspired by the Swedish flag. And if you don't know how the Swedish flag is looking, I can put it up here. So it's yellow and blue with a cross on it. And I am not going to do any cross things. <laughs> we were like, everybody can do whatever they want. Because I feel, what I think is most fun with a collab is if all the people is doing their own style. So we are just going to do a makeup look that is inspired by the Swedish flag. And the Swedish flag in Swedish is Svenska flaggan. So you get some Swedish lesson there as well. So yeah, super long <laughs> intro today as well. I am going to zoom in and then we just get started. And I have taken out four palettes and I think I am going to use them all. Everything that I use will be down in the descriptions if you are wondering. What I'm using. Okay, so I'm going to start with maybe only sweets. Get this. In my crease, I will take this one. I think it's kids from Nabla, and it is because in Sweden we are all lagom. And this is a lagom shade. Lagom is like it's not too much, it's not too little, it's just like perfect, but it's not like wow, I got a perfect score. It's more like it went good didn't went bad, it didn't went good. Let's log up. So this I'm going to take in my crease. And this is actually the first time I am doing a collab with a lot of the girls in this one. Me and Jessica has done... I think it's one collab and then we have done... Okay, one collab where we haven't been in the same room and two collabs where we have been in the same room and if you liked our first get ready with us it is coming one later this week I started to edit that yesterday <laughs> and it was pretty fun so I really hope you will like it and it's going to be so fun to see what others are doing I don't know if anybody's going to do like a whole like soccer face you know when you like paint a big flag I don't think so but it's going to be fun to see what we all, all are doing okay so something like that and I going to do something that is typical for me because I'm going to do a halo eye and I think I will start with the blue moon palette from Colourpop and I think I will take fine shine on this one and put it on my outer. Maybe now you know exactly what I'm going to do. I was like swatching my arm before I started. One thing I'm going to love about doing these collabs is I usually only use one palette because you're doing like or because you are I am doing a video with maybe Kaleidos and then I'm only using Kaleidos but this is fun because I can use whatever I want and that I like with my Zodiac series as well is that I can do use 
whatever I want. Then we take it in here as well. I don't think I ever have done a blue and a yellow makeup. Me and Jessica talked a little bit about this collab yesterday when she was here. And I don't like want to do a blue and a yellow makeup because it is the colors of the flag. I don't know why, but I don't feel comfortable with it. So that is the fine china. And now I drop things. And for my halo, I am taking the Magic Palette by Uvias. And taking Nubian, this one. This is a pretty yellow gold. I was swatching like all my gold shades before, so yeah. Okay, I really hope that this will. That this is good. And I'm not taking any glitter glue because this is UVS. And this is like one of my absolute favorite golds and I don't know how often these videos are coming up we were talking about once a month because it is a little bit hard when you are like more than three people to have something <laughs> that is going to suit everybody but we was like if it's not maybe next month if it doesn't suit me I'm not going to be a part but if I have time, I'm going to be part of it. Okay, so I think I am like satisfied with this. I just want to go over with the kids shade from this one in my crease just a little bit. Okay, so I think I am satisfied with a lid like this. So I'm going to do the uh, same other, the same thing on the other eye and then I fix my base and my brows off cam as usual. And then I come back and we finished up this look and I will see what I'm going to do for my lower lash and for my waterline. Yeah, so I will fix that and then I will come back. So to finish off this look, I am going to take this fine china underneath my eyes the whole It feels so strange to have like a loo all the way. <laughs> For my inner corner, I will take the abstract shade from the Linda Holberg Spectral Palette. I hope this will look cool. I think it will. I don't spray this, I just pop this over. So something like that and then for my waterline I will take Linda Holberg Happy Mood. This is a yellow a yellow pen crayon because hers is called crayon. So like that and I will put on some mascara as well and something on my lips. I have no idea what I want to do for lipstick. <laughs> no idea at all but I will try to figure some out so I fix these two last things and then I will come back with the finished Swedish flag inspired look so this is my Swedish flag inspired look I don't know how to say it in which order for my lips I used Colourpop's ultra satin in November and yeah that's all for this look I so I really hope you liked this video and don't forget sh to check out all the others that is a part of this collab and I really hope that you will like this. We will see how many I will be in and we will see how often these videos will come up but I think it's so fun to be a part. I love Jessica, Marlin and Linda's series, collab series they have. So when they asked me if I wanted to join I was like Yes, yes, yes. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!